oh, live here. We're gonna see. They are testing. <clears throat> testing audio. See that it's connected to that. going to the correct channel. Okay, got a camera. Nice. Camera. Microphone audio. It looks like it's coming through. Got that. Making sure this is on. So this is functioning. It is showing up on the page. Copy. All right. Camera's working. Got it. Let's see if we can we pull something up here. Again, this is initial test stream. We've got that posted and shared. I see my camera audio come through and actually quality is a lot better than, than I was getting on Twitch, which is kind of nice. Watermark does show. Microphone audio still testing correctly. Let's pull up OBS over here. I'll probably get rid of this window over here. So this is, again, I mean, I've probably already said it a few times. This is a test stream, a test stream only. Um, I'm just going to be blabbing. I will be watching this back for my own purposes just to see how audio is coming through, game audio is, music background audio, my own audio. But this is my first live stream on YouTube. So it's a little, I'm a little out of my element over here as I am compared to Twitch and other streaming platforms so but we're gonna run around a little bit i am playing via capture card on xbox series s playing valheim the game preview uh so we're gonna run around a little bit uh, my screen is to my left so i will be sitting here hoping looking this way instead of looking at the camera um edits will come in the future the video what if it ever does get published it might get shortened down a little bit um and for myself don't be stupid. <laughs> so let's just hope that this goes well. And 
without further ado, I might as well just play a little bit, get something moving around just so I can see graphic quality on follow-up, and then we can go from there. So. Officially live on YouTube. It's kind of nice having to respond. I'm hoping I can just make this as authentic as possible. I get really tired of doing Persona. Personas are exhausting. What's up, Nexa? Thank you for popping in. How's it look? How does it look? How does it sound? Because believe it or not, I'm using OBS Studio still. But like everything is completely different. But I also have my actual stream pulled up on the screen next to me so I can just, like see it from my own perspective. <laughs> there is a bit of latency I have noticed though. Like and I think that's something I need to do whenever I'm doing the managing broadcast setup is it gives you the option for how much latency that the stream actually um, entail or entails is that the correct word entails because there's high latency normal latency and ultra low latency or something like that normal latency low latency I don't I don't know I didn't pay too much attention to it I probably should have it's my own fault but it's my first YouTube stream, and it's probably not going to get published. And if it does, so be it. Everybody can see my blunder and its glory, okay? There's a reason it's a dumpster fire. <laughs> so, But I'm playing Valheim, the game preview, on Xbox. Checking it out, even though I played it on PC for a while. I wanted to see how it worked via Xbox. So that's what we're doing. And you can see I have my camera going. And it looks like my camera just froze too. Wonderful. Let's see if we can fix that. Look, again, you're not a pro streamer unless you have issues, right? Come on, camera. Come on, camera. We're going to kill camera real quick. Disconnect camera and re add camera. I shouldn't be having the frozen camera issues with this computer. I really just shouldn't. Testing. Hey, look, camera's live. Hey, there I am. It's me. What's up? I hope you're having a great night, though, Nexa. Everything is going well. Okay, my crow just disappeared. The raven just disappeared. Uh, well met. Let's talk to this guy. Talk. Okay. I gotta relearn all the controls for this again. Because it's gonna be completely different on Xbox than it is on PC. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Okay. So... That's how I punch and kick. Look at me. Look at me. Just punching away. Okay, so right bumper is, is punching. Well, I don't know if I'm even doing anything there. Um, oh yeah, branches. Okay. Okay, so X to pick up. All right. It's Valheim. This is Valheim, the game preview on Xbox. It dropped today, believe it or not. I did I thought it was going to be later in the week. It it wasn't. So, we're here doing a quick game preview. Seeing how it works. 
YouTube, I'm not gonna lie, YouTube feels so weird to me right now because I'm so used to Twitch. Um, but honestly, you know, it might be a blessing in disguise not being on Twitch just to see how I would like this much more, forcing me to do this for a while. I do like how much easier it is though to set things up via YouTube. Like, I've had to wing it and learn it, but I do like how much easier it is. Um, there's not all the, you know, the chaos and jumble of everything that you have to go through just to stream on Twitch. Like, granted, yeah, that's easy, but it's it seems much more simple. It's just link the account and then everything that you do on here is automatically updated for YouTube or if you do it on the website it automatically updates your account on OBS like it's makes it really really easy. I am give me these berries I know I'm gonna need those berries. This little raven I found a snack, yes. Oh, okay. I don't want to read that. But how are you tonight, friend? I really, really appreciate you coming in and saying hi and visiting for a moment. Even if it's only for a little bit, I don't even really care. Like, I do care, but I don't care if that makes sense. Like, just because I kind of feel like an idiot on YouTube. It's all, it's new. It's, it's brand spanking new for me. Um, that's a, that's a beast. That's a beast. Go away. Go away. I don't know what you are. Sarah Bear. What's up, Fran? Welcome in. Welcome in. First test stream on YouTube. We're doing it hard. Um, we are playing the first playthrough of Valheim on Xbox instead of on PC. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Ah! But welcome. I'm glad you guys stopped in to say hi and visit. It means a lot. It really means a lot. Um, I know I have my camera on, believe it or not. You can see my beautiful face. Um... What is that, a beast? Oh. I am very clunkily stumbling my way through this game right now. Because it's weird playing it with a controller than it is mouse and keyboard. I feel like it's so much easier. Speaking of mouse and keyboard, I wonder, even because this is a test stream, everything is new. Everything is being done for the first time. I'm wondering if... Is it mouse and keyboard compatible on Xbox. We're about to find out. Break out my trusty Xbox setup, mouse and keyboard. It is not, unfortunately. It's not mouse and keyboard compatible, unless there is a setting in the game. Uh, settings, controls, classic. Console. Okay. Classic. Oh my god, no they did not. Both headlights just went out while you're driving home. No way. No way. Hey yo. That's re that really sucks, Nexa. Um I would like to point this out though. I would like to point this out. Okay? You know how on Twitch, whenever you are streaming, right? And you can see your statistics at the bottom of your OBS, right? We're just gonna switch screens here real quick. So, you know how when you're on Twitch and you can see your statistics at the bottom, it tells you how much CPU usage you're having, how much your frame rate is, um, how long you've been live, all that stuff. What I love 
what I'm already loving about this, right, for my first time on YouTube, is that I'm not using anywhere near the amount of usage of my OBS or my computer as I would if I would be streaming on Twitch, which is wonderful. I am using about the same amount of CPU as if I was just idle on OBS, like when I'm not live, you know, because usually your CPU percentage climbs a little bit whenever you go live on Twitch, right? And that's because you have all of your browser sources and everything that it's pulling from and it's basically bottlenecking your, your, your processor, right? So without all of that stuff, which I don't have any like the sound alerts and things like that so far, even still, my CPU percentage is less than what it ever was on Twitch when I was live, which is awesome. Um, I'm not dropping any frames. My FPS is high. It's not fluctuating like normal, like I normally see on Twitch, which is awesome. I'm, I can't really say there's anything negative about doing this so far, but then again, I've only been live for 16 minutes running this quick test stream. I'm not going too super long just because I'm not, I, I, there's still a lot of things I really want to work out as far as my stream goes here on YouTube. And then it won't even just be live streams. It will be, you know, cut and pasted videos that are uploaded later, so on and so on. So, um, but I'm already seeing a lot more pros with this than cons, which is really, really, really nice. And I couldn't be happier. Both your headlights went out. That sucks. I hope you're not far from home. Like, I really hope you're not far from home because, and it's dark. Oh my God. Um, Got a couple flashlights, cause you know I your boy here has had some issues with that before. Thank God I had a couple flashlights in my car at that point in time because I straight up took duct tape and duct taped flashlights to the front of my car. This was way back when I was like 16, 17 years old, right? I straight up duct taped flashlights to the front of my car to light the roadway in front of me. Granted. I wasn't even like going home and I wasn't in the city where there was a bunch of cops. I was actually out in the country at a friend's place on back gravel roads. And surprisingly enough, the flashlights worked perfectly. I was just like, Hey, heck yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So if you have a couple flashlights and you got some duct tape, I'm just saying it's a temporary fix. And if you get pulled over, just be like, Hey, yo, I didn't know what else to do. And the cop might actually look at you and be like, you know what? That's impressive ingenuity right there. I'm telling you, it'll work. <laughs> it will work. I would love to know how the latency actually is, though. Um, I know, side note, I completely veered off and I'm coming right back. I would love to know, like, how much of a delay there is between what I'm doing here. Like I see, I, like I see my video over to the side and I see your comments in on YouTube, but I also see them coming through on my OBS, but I'm not sure of like what you are seeing as far as like relay time because i would like to try to get it down to the shortest amount of delay possible if i can my computer just did something weird for a second i don't think it screwed anything up i know i see i'm still live Let's see if we can't fix this really quickly. I wonder if it allows me to actually go in and adjust the broadcast. Um, 
You're about 20 minutes or so away from home. I'm going to assume that's what you mean, about 20 minutes or so away from home. Riding with your bright side. Do it. Yeah. See, okay. I mean, at least you have headlights, you know, at least you have headlights. So that tells me, okay, I'm assuming, I'm, I'm just assuming from your comments, what I'm seeing in your comments is they're responding to things I said a few minutes ago, at least in real time, if that gives you perspective, which is kind of awkward. That's a con. I want to try and cut that latency down as much as possible. Can I do that while I'm live though? Cause if I can, then that'd be perfect. I might not be able to. Let me see if I can open up. Let's see, we've got. We'll do, let's see, manage, is there manage broadcast? No, I cannot. I'm not seeing a way for me to actually go in and manage the broadcast while I'm live. I would have to actually do it before I go live. <laughs> well be safe be safe driving because i would hate to hear that you were in an accident because you know i appreciate you okay we're just gonna go back to the live scene i'm going to try to see if i can't mess with that later after i get done because i do just want to play this for a minute um i'm gonna run around here i would like to figure out the building aspect of this before anything else Ooh, hey look i just got some flint i thought that was just a rock oh, there's a stone It seems that like I can hear my audio and there's clear delay. Oh God. You just got Sparta kicked. Ugh. Spartacus, you think it's a little delayed? Yeah, I think it's very delayed. Um, so that'll be something I have to adjust next time when I go live, is trying to make sure that I can um, make sure that I can like lower that latency down as much as possible to where there is practically none because I would like to make it to where I'm talking as much as in real time. Your video paused, you just had to fast forward. That is odd. Maybe it's trying to catch up. I don't know. You think you were delayed, not me? It wouldn't surprise me if I was the one that was delayed, though. So. Oh, hey, look, I got a torch. 
Am I still delayed to you though? Cause look, I'm cold. Let's see. So Y opens that. Let's see. How do I? No, I'll pause my confidence and it was. Oh. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Change window. Okay. There we go. Change window. Craft hammer. Oh, I need more wood to craft a stone axe. Okay. Is that for me? You're quicker to respond. Okay. That makes sense, though. Of course, also, I do have to look over still to see my chat. And it's so weird because, like, everything is backwards because I'm playing on my Xbox. Instead of me, like, having the chat right next to my screen here, when I look at my, my main computer monitor, my chat is right underneath my camera. So it's almost as if I'm, like, looking you dead in the eye. Whereas, like, over here, I gotta look, like, way over here to the right. <laughs> I give myself whiplash every single time. You don't know what to do. I don't know either. Look, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing either. I'm winging it. Like I'm trying to teach here. I, I'm trying to teach her. It's good that you're here. I like. We can learn together. Okay. <laughs> like. <laughs> so look, I press Y, and it opens up here, and the bumpers at least change the window. So. Now I just need to find another piece of wood so I can make an axe. Let me mute my window over here because I feel I have a, this weird feeling that like my secondary voice is coming through the microphone because my mic is like right above me here. <laughs> so everything's going to be coming through a second time. Again, this bot is not going to be posted. I'm telling you, it's not getting posted. And if it does, it's going to be through edits edits only and it's gonna be like here's the blunder that was the first official YouTube stream okay <laughs> okay enough of dawdling I need to find another stick your boy needs a stick give me a stick can I oh 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 give me a stick did that give me a stick it did not give me a stick It did not give me a stick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Give me a stick. Okay. So I got some wood. I got wood. All right, I'm going to go back to my safe haven, the circle over here. My dude's naked. My dude is naked. Um, hey, old warrior. Yes. Hello. Um, oh, God. Go away, Grayling. Back here. Stop running. He won't stop running. Oh, there he goes. Now he's dead. All right. So your bumpers are your attack, obviously. Your right trigger is your kick attack. So that's how you actually kick. Um, so let's open this up. Let's craft a stone axe. Got to make sure we have five wood, four stone, right? So we have five wood and we have four stone. Okay, so we're going to craft a stone axe. All right. I hear weird noises. So then we just open this up. Press X to equip it. That puts the torch in our left hand and puts the axe in our right. So now we can actually go and we can chop down trees and get a more efficient amount of wood. Which is nice. So we can come over here. We're going to cut down this tree. Right? Pretty sure. Are we not cutting it down? There we go. There it goes. There it goes. We get, we're figuring it out. We're pros. We got this. 
We're figuring it out. Figure it out together. I know that the more you cut down the logs, the less swings it takes to actually like cut it into a smaller amount. But I got some resin from that. Okay. So then... My torch just went out. Awesome. Okay. And then we can just walk over the items and actually pick them up. We don't actually have to, like, press anything on them to pick them up. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight swings. We'll cut that down. Okay, can I, can I go back up the hill, please? Can I go back up the hill, please? Thank you. Well, Hugin is here to talk to us. I've already talked to him. The temperature drops to 9 or fewer. Stuff to be able to reduce your stamina, regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Yes, we know. We would like to have a fire. So can I craft a fire? I cannot. I need... We can craft a hammer, which might be nice to have. We're going to craft a torch, because we need another one of those. We used up the one, and we'll craft a club so we at least have that. Okay. Now, we will equip our club. I, I, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. Because I'm not 100% positive. Your boy, your boy is just confused over here, okay? I'm just confused. Hail warrior. Yes, are you going to tell me something that I don't already know? Most items must be crafted, however, due to your recent departure from Midgard. You will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it'll all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother Munin tells me one fashion one can fashion a stone axe out of wooden stone. I already did this. So I already have an axe. Hail warrior. Yes, I see you. With this tool you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This in turn will enable you to construct other things. Okay. So the workbench. I see, wait, raspberries? Raspberries. Yes, give me the raspberries because I need food. Um, I forget, how do I... Okay, there we go. Use, equip. There we go. Okay, so now we're eating. Now we're eating. Give him a beat down. Oh, that's a river down there. Okay. That is a river. Let's go to the river. There must be some things. Oh, wow. That's a boar. That is a boar that just tried to attack me. He ran away. I don't know where he went. Oh, God. He came from behind me. He came from behind me, and I don't appreciate that. I did not consent. You will die. No! I died. Look at that. Your boy died. You're watching me on your new tablet? Nice! I didn't even know you got a new tablet. That's freaking cool. Your homie died. And I gotta go try and recover my stuff. Do I talk to you first? Yes, I will talk to you. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I need a home. I need to be able to build stuff. So let me go loot my stuff.
Hmm. All right. I hope that everything is like coming through nice and clear. Um, my video quality, at least on my end, when I'm looking at my stream uh, myself, my video quality seems a lot better than it ever was on Twitch, which is kind of nice. Um, again, as I said a little bit ago, like I'm starting to find more pros than I ever, than I am cons in comparison to streaming on Twitch. And yes, Twitch is a good platform. You can grow quickly. It's easy to interact with people on there. You know, the, there might be some more things that you can do on Twitch than on YouTube. But I feel like this is, you know, granted, again, it's just the first stream, but it already feels good. Um, we're going to chop this log up give ourselves... Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, because I got to press X. There we go. But it already feels good in comparison to uh, what I was doing on Twitch. And this will be, I, do, I will say this, this will be my primary mode of streaming, at least until I get the other situation resolved. Um, why that other situation happened the way that did, I don't know. But I'm doing my due diligence, trying to make sure that, you know, I take care of myself. Oh god, there, go away, Grayling. To make sure that I take care of what I need to take care of. Come back here. Die. We found water. Have you built it? I have not built anything yet. No. Um, I'm still just like kind of gathering materials, trying to figure out the basics, trying to get, trying to get used to playing this on controller as I'm used to playing it mouse and keyboard. Um, but I'm working toward it. I'm gonna go back to the circle over here. My dude's wet. Um, we're gonna start here if I can. Let's see if I can. Okay, so I've got club, hammer, torch, stone, axe. Okay. Do I have to go somewhere else though? Let's let's run around a little bit. Um, alternative placement mode. Oh, build menu. Okay, build menu. There we go. That's that's what I'm looking for. So let's find a nice little spot. Okay, let's we're gonna equip this. Pick up the branch. We're gonna we're gonna pick up some materials here. Okay, let's find a nice little. There's something running after me. Go away. Aha! Your boy did it. I killed a boar. My first kill. Man got meat. Um. Let's continue on. My phone is going off. Uh. seems like a nice little flat spot right here let's let's build here so we got a nice little flat area we're gonna build a little hut we're not too far from that circle let's 
Uh, it's just gonna be a nice little like little fishing hut. You know, we'll we'll figure it out. Um. Also, I do have some music playing in the background. Let me know if you guys can even hear it. Um, I do have a, I do have it down really low. It is DMCA free because that is still a thing. Um, it's just some DMCA free lo-fi. Go away, Grayling. Them Graylings that are are loving me right now. Okay. So, in order to build. What I did notice already is that you have to have the hammer in your hand, right? And then build menu. So crafting, we need a workbench, right? Use the triggers to rotate. And let's see if we can't find a decent spot. That'll work, right? That'll work. We're going to place it there. Okay, build menu. We need, for a campfire, we need stone, right? Why'd the ground just shake like that? I don't like the ground just shook like that. So I just earned a bunch of stuff, which is nice. Okay, so I can't use my axe to break the stone, unfortunately. I have to actually find stone. So run around. Hey, we got we got a few right here. Okay. Use stone because we need a fire. We need a fire more than anything because our dude is probably cold. And we need a way to cook the food that we have. So that's okay. So we got flint, got stone, more stone. Give me all the stone. I'll take all the stone. All right. So now we go. Oh, crafting station needs a roof. Got it. Okay, so that's the thing I remember about it is you have to have a roof over your workbench in order to like really build anything from your workbench. Um, unless you have stuff in your inventory. Which we're going to place a fire... place of fire right there very nice okay I'll take my axe back I'm gonna cut down these couple of trees clear some space out right Put some more materials into our inventory here. And then we will keep going. So let's see, we can also... Oh, I got a branch there that I have to pick up. So what I've also realized is that I also need a cooking spit. So we will go here, build menu, crafting, cooking station. And we want our cooking station near the fire. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. It might torch it. It might torch it. It's been so long since I've done that. Cooking, cook item. Okay. There we go. So let's talk to Hugin here real quick. The workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots of more building pieces to construct with a hammer. Okay? So now we can use the workbench to actually construct 
house if we wanted to, essentially. We got cooked for me. Very nice. Now, do I have anything else in my inventory that I can cook? No, I do not. So, now what we want to do is we want to try and actually build the small house that we're going to use for our character to live in. So, we want to go back to our hammer. So you press Y to open the inventory, scroll over to the hammer, press X to equip it. Go into build menu, and you're going to go into building by pressing the bumpers. Now we will figure out we have the wooden poles so we can actually make like a lifted, a raised platform to build our home on. Which, I don't know how much wood we have in our inventory, but I know that I personally would prefer to have a platform. So let's do we're gonna go up the hill just a bit and we're gonna place right about here okay then we're gonna go back into our build menu and we're gonna place our floor if it allows us. Can I place it right on top? Oh, I can. Okay. This is the part that I remember being very finicky. What is the building? The building aspect of it is very touchy. Um... You can only build out so far. From what I remember. There we go. So, Alright, so we have our floor. We have our floor. Now we're going to go in and we're going to build our walls. Wall. We'll place one here. So I do want some windows. I'm gonna place one there. Place there, because that's the side that our door. Oh, we might just put a window on that side. Put our door on the front side. That way we can actually like walk out the door to the water. Go back in a wooden half wall. Yeah, that'll work. Wooden half wall to make our windows. We want to be able to see on all sides because this is just a survival hut. We'll go back in, collect our door. And there we have it. We have our door. We have our door. So we officially have the start of our hut, at least the base. This will be our starting point. Granted, it's very rudimentary, but it works. It works for now. We need to gather some more wood, that's for sure. We are running very low. Stamina keeps draining something fierce. 
Something fierce. Oh, my axe. My axe needs repaired. Alright. So, if I can use it, let's see. I need four. Wait, 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 wait. I know there's a way to repair. But I don't remember if you have to have... You, uh, maybe you have to have all the material in your inventory in order to repair it. Essentially the same as crafting a new one. Oh, that was weird. There were two stones right on top of one another. Um... There's a boar over there. Uh, he can go away. Um... Maybe. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I just at least, I at least want to be by my fire. That's for sure. So... Use my hatchet. I use... No. His using doesn't do anything. Maybe if I... Go repair... No. No, that's not what I want. I want... Can I use? Crafting station needs a roof. So I still can't use it. Or maybe once it's gone, I can't even repair it. World save in 30 seconds. Got it. So I think once I use up the item, it goes away. You have to repair it before it is dead, essentially. I think that's how it works. It's been so long since I've played Valheim, I don't even remember. It essentially feels the same, though, as what it was on PC. Complicated, in-depth, and very much has a learning curve. Oh, too hard. Wait, what? It's too hard. I'm just screwing up my axe. That's what I'm doing. I need a better axe in order to cut that tree down. Oh, snap. Okay, that was close. It almost landed on my house. You can also just hold down the button to do the harvesting for you, by the way. You don't have to repeatedly press the, the bumper, the action key to do anything. My guy feels cold. Okay, so which tells me that I need to go stand by the fire. Oh god, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. At least I'm by the water. I caught I caught myself on fire. That's not okay. I need a bed. Can I move the workbench though? No! Wait, what? I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. I definitely did not want to do that. Um, 
build menu, crafting, workbench. There we go. I'm screwing up, guys. I'm screwing up. So I can't, okay. I can't use the torch in my hand and build at the same time, which kind of stinks. It's, it's, it's very tricky. I'm, I'm so, I'm like super focus faced, super focus faced on trying to get this to work properly. figuring it out we're figuring it out we're figuring it out It's not going to be pretty, but it will be functional. That's all it has to do. It, all, it just has to be functional. We're getting it out. Lurking. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm hoping that like this is actually like helping you too, because like I'm having to learn it while you're learning it too. So, but I am figuring out how to actually get this done. It's just taking some time. <laughs> you know holy cow and look here we go first youtube stream test stream we've already been going for an hour I feel proud i feel proud success success no issues too only had the camera freeze once just once okay so i need wood to make a bed in order to sleep so let's grab our axe. Let's grab our torch. Let's go gather some wood. Because I also need some stairs. I feel cold. Of course my dude feels cold. I need wood. Oh god, it's gonna land on my house. No, no, thank god, it's not gonna land on my house. Well. That's not what we wanted to happen. The tree we just cut down is now a teeter-totter on a tree in the air. We did not want this. This is unfortunate. Give me all that wood. Oh god, dude, that grayling came out of nowhere. Yo. Come here. Come here. Get away from my house. Get away from my house. He scared the crud out of me, guys. He scared the crud out of me.
I hear noises and I don't like it. I hear weird noises and I don't like it at all. There we go. There we go. Well, we're figuring it out. Give me all the wood. All the wood. I feel cold. How am I cold? Oh. One, because I don't have a fire actually inside my house. That might be part of the problem. So, let's... Okay, here we go. We can't see what we're doing, but we're going to try anyway. I'm going to build a bed. That is the wrong direction. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's talk to Hugin. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. That's fair. I need a roof. What is this? I need a roof. I better get to building then. Alright. Building. I have a 3x3. Three three. I need to think about this. I have a 3x3 three three house. Right? Essentially, all I need... Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we need one, two, three. Okay, over there. And one. Two and three. Now we need we need the low slope center panel roof. Ah. Right? Is it gonna give it to me? Why is it putting it there? Why why are we putting it there? Do I need to place the wall first? Maybe? place that one and we place that one then come on work work for me here why is it not working Oh, 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 I just had it. I just had it. Ah! There we go. There we go. Okay. Now this one. Ah! There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. So now we need... Half... Half wall? Half wall. Right? Yes. Yeah, there's that. We need to have wall there. 
and a half wall there. Okay. Look, we're we're slowly making it. We're slowly making it. Hey yo. Panel one. Panel two. And panel three. Here we go. We officially have. Well, maybe. Let's see. We got. Got to place our crosses up there. Missing requirement. I'm missing two wood. Look, listen, game. Listen, you're being a little picky here. Regardless, I now have a bed. I have a home. It looks like it's floating, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. For now. This is just the start. It's just the start, okay? It's not going to be perfect. This stump better give me some wood. I'm going to be mad. It gave me two wood. Two. Go away, Grayling. Oh, well, it fell on that tree, and that tree is too hard for me to cut up, so I don't know what... Ow! Looky. Look. Look what happened. The tree fell on me, and I died. The audacity... At least I got my house built and a bed place, so I don't have to spawn too far away. Right? I'll just spawn right next to my body and I'll keep on cutting down the tree. Here I lie. Now, I want to know if I can repair that. Can I repair my axe? There's got to be a way for me to repair the axe. It looks good. Thank you, Sarah Bear. Thank you very much. Can I... Let's see, can we upgrade? No, we can't upgrade it, but can we repair it? You just made a character? Nice. And you know we can play in the same world together, right? So... Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Repaired rag tunic. Paired stone axe. Oh, okay. So you just click the right. Look, I learned something here. Okay. So if you have damaged tools, once you have the ability to actually use your workbench, like once it's inside of a building, when you go into it, this little hammer over here, that, well, you can't really see it, but the little hammer that's down there on the side of the menu, clicking the right joystick will just automatically repair all items that need repairing. So that's good to know. Rag tunic. Let's go ahead and put the uh, rag tunic on so I'm not naked. Oh no, I don't want to unequip it. I want to. I want to leave it on. Okay, we're gonna go cut this tree up because I need more wood. I 
hear noises. I hear noises that just sound awfully awkward and weird. Dude, a beat down. Go away. Go away. Yeah, I heard Grayling. All right. So here we go. If he comes back, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, I need to place some stairs. So, what I want to do actually is I want to build a porch. Aha! Yeah, you got stuck in my porch, dude. Porch here. Build some wooden stairs. Yeah, buddy. Can I not? Can... Hey, wait, 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 wait. Let me... Is there half stairs? No? It's just wooden stairs? There we go. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Alright. Standing wood torch. I want a standing wood torch in my house. Next to my bed. And one next to this window. But we're slowly figuring it out, yo. We're slowly figuring it out. All right, now we want at least want some like rail like a type of railing of some kind so we're going to use half walls because that's all i got right now we're going to put half walls on look at that my dog just barging in while i'm live can you believe that one moment please Y'all, the audacity of my dog. And my camera, of course. So whenever I do that, it seems that it triggers my, my camera to throw a fit. Scene changes are what caused my camera issues and that is not fun there we go so we are back all right we're back with this house we've got ourselves a porch we got 
door. We got some lighting. We probably could move the fire up here to stay warm. Uh, let's see if there's a way to actually do that. No. We're going, you know what, we're just going to do this. We're going to... Here's what we're going to do. Can I place it on porch? Invalid placement. So ca I can't place it inside? Oh, I have to place it out here on the ground. Okay. So I have to place the fire on the ground out here. Maybe if we... We can place it here. Craft it, and we'll go ahead and place the cooking station. Kind of next to it, not over it. So we can at least still use it. There we go. Alright, now we can use building. So I do, I still need more wood. Alright, still need more wood. So we're gonna go cut, the, cut up some more wood. From somewhere. I don't know which way it's falling. Make sure you stay out of the way of the trees when they fall, because if they fall on you, they will kill you. I know there was a way, this is what I want to find out, I know there's a way to zoom in and out on your character when you're playing on PC. Now I just gotta figure out how, oh no, so down causes your character to sit, okay. Maybe there's not a way to zoom in and out off of your character on Xbox. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Do I have to go inside? Is it not going to let me do it? Is it not going to let me do it? Oh, come on. Y'all, I'm sad now, because... I don't... It's not letting me place the cross. That's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be a thing. We'll just accept it. So there we have it. For our first stream, we have... We officially have a home. We have a home with a bed. I guess I need to put some storage in there. That might be nice. Might be nice to have some storage.
but we're gonna place a chest over here. And we're gonna place a chest right here. And there you have it. We officially have our first home on Xbox Valheim Game Premium. We figured it out, people. We figured it out. It's so picturesque, right? It looks so good. I mean, could definitely have some upgrades, you know. But, for the most part, it exists. It exists. It's definitely a thing. I must say that I do enjoy actually like running around on here with a key with a controller as compared to mouse and keyboard a lot more. Just makes it easier. Of course, I think it's like that with a lot of games that you know are mouse and keyboard compatible or controller compatible. So, but we've done it. We have done it. Again, this house is only temporary. It's just for the start of the game. And um, as we move on, we will figure out more builds and we will continue to experience the game even more and level up and build even grander buildings. So, not bad, if I do say so myself. Open, open sesame, thank you. My character is resting. Resting. I can sleep. Here we go. We're gonna sleep. We're going to bed. I dream of a river running uphill, of green shoots turning downward into the earth. Said good morning, day four. Looks like it's gonna be a gloomy day. Yggdrasil is looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. Something is... I picked something up there and I don't know... Oh, beach seeds. Some tree, tree seeds. There's some over here, too. Wonderful. Knowledge just increased, I'm assuming. That's what that means. I see... What I'm assuming is like my dead body it should still be like right here, but I don't see it. It's where it shows my die, my death spots, my death locations, on my mini map up there. So I mean, it's hard to see on the camera, but there is a little skull and crossbones in each place that I died. So. is interesting it's definitely different something is in the water right here something was in the water right here and I'm not sure what Either way, I do believe that is going to do it for me on this first initial playthrough of Valheim on Xbox Series S. So I'm glad to see that it actually worked correctly. I got it. I got it to function correctly. We're going to sit right here in our home and we're going to come over here. 
So I can say thank you. Thank you to Nexus Law. Thank you, Sarah Bear, for coming in here and, and saying hi and visiting and hanging out with me on my first ever YouTube stream. Thank you to anybody else who might have shown up and maybe just didn't say anything. I appreciate you very much for coming in and spending time with me on my first, I guess, debut, if that's what you want to call it, to being a YouTuber. Uh, but next time, I'm not sure what I'll get into next time, but I'm going to play around with some things, hopefully make the stream work a little bit better now that I have a little feel for how it's going to work. But until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And if you do, name it after me.